what's going on everybody welcome back once again it's me Molt. super stoked to be here with you guys today we are playing some more clash royale and uh yesterday i pushed up pretty high uh in a day i got over 400 trophies in a day with the new um bridge spam deck that i made it's been awesome but there were a couple matches that you guys didn't see that i really want to show you guys and then we're gonna hop into some other live ones but uh let's go ahead and check this out so first off as you guys know from the title this British spam deck ended up beating a expo deck as well as a mortar deck okay and as you can see right here from this one this is indeed the expo deck um, and I feel like I, I feel like any time that I see anytime I run into someone with an expo they automatically start off with wow and good luck um, and I always question whether or not the wow is because they're level 12 and I'm a level 13 or if it's because they recognize me and they know that I'm not really a fan of Expos and Mortars. Not really too sure what it is. Um, but either way, it's pretty funny. So, uh, he's going to go ahead and get ready here to drop off his Expo. And uh, we, don't even, we don't even know that he has it at this point. Honestly, because I haven't faced one in a while. So, I'm not too sure about the cards that are in it. So, like, as I cycle through all these things, etc, etc. I'm not too sure what he's got, you know what I'm saying? So, we're going to go ahead and drop this off right here. And I believe that this is what makes him um, go ahead and start cycling down his Expo. Once I saw the Tesla, I should have known that it was going to be an Expo deck. Um, but obviously, we did not. Uh, we're going to get a lot of stuff in here. The Tesla is insanely strong, honestly. Um, and he's going to be able to come back in here with this. Uh, as well and sadly I think we do we do take out the uh, mini P.E.K.K.A. right there and he is way lower on elixir than we are um, we're at five right as he's at three so I guess not way lower we have two more than him um, we still aren't too sure what he's playing with uh, at this point because I hadn't seen the expo yet so I was like what is his what is his win condition I just didn't know um, and uh, thankfully we get nothing done right there which is pretty cool we can send this in, and here we go in with this as well. Um, and that's going to be pretty good for us, honestly. We try and get another Barbarian down in there. He's just going to drop off that right there. And now that it's double Elixir, my man is just so excited. He's like, yay! Now, since I haven't touched his tower yet, I can just I can put this at the bridge, and I can do a lot of damage. Yay! Oh, yeah? Is that what you're thinking? That's what you're thinking, huh? That's the type of game you're going to play, buddy? That's all right. You go ahead. You do you. You do you, because we're about to have a little bit of fun. So we send him a uh, yawning pig right there, because that's all that you can send in that scenario. You know what I mean? It's like, hey, you're playing an expo deck. Of course I'm going to yawn at you. So we get over there, and we actually uh, are able to get a little bit more damage done with those barbarians. Um, and now we can cycle pretty easily as well. He's going to go with some weird sort of defensive thing down here, and I'm just like, okay, what the heck is that for? Go ahead, waste your time. You know that that's not going to mess with my... Um, it's not going to mess with my Royal Ghost. So we go ahead and poison this right here just to get a little bit more damage done over there. Um, and now we're... Honestly, we're just like hanging out. We're just seeing what we can do. I drop off all this stuff over here. Um, we go uh, Bar Barrel over there as well. And we have a lot of stuff on that side. But look at this right side as well as we've got Barbarians. We've got Spear Gobs over there. And then we've got our Royal Ghost over on that other side. We're going to go ahead and poison that right there. My man's upset because he's like, wait a second. I have an Expo. Why am I not winning? Because you're facing the ultimate bridge spam deck, my dude. So now we're just kind of hanging out. He's still going to try his best to defend. All we have to do is cycle through to our Tornado. Um, so we drop all of this stuff off. Not to our Tornado, to our Poison spell. So we drop all this stuff off. It's a well-played and a good game. That's what I'm talking about now. I also told you guys that after we faced that, we actually faced um, a mortar deck as well, which you can see right here. So let's go ahead and watch this one as well. This is Mortar Hog, which I've seen a good bit um, with some other cards traded in here and there. I just spilled coffee. Thanks, guys. Thanks for making me rush. Thanks for making me rush drinking my coffee. Goodness gracious. It's all over the place. It's not all over the place. I just need, like, paper towels in my office at all times. Is anyone else messy like that where you don't mean to be, but you just are? And knowing me, I'll probably just end up wiping it off with my sweatshirt, and then my Hunter Thieves sweatshirt is dirty. Yo, Nate, holler at me. 
Um, but, uh, yeah, so... <coughs> We drop off all this stuff. I'm really loving this Bridge Spam deck. It's been a lot of fun playing with it. You guys could tell that I was having a blast with it yesterday. Um, it's just so much fun. He's going to zap that, and that's not even going to be enough. But he is going to somehow, even with that Rage Spell, it somehow took out the uh, Battle Ram before it could get there, which is nuts. The Battle Ram was raged, and the tower took it down. Uh, I guess a couple bats helped out as well, but, you know, watch this. I love this right here. I love the barbell, man. I used to think it was a joke, but once they, once they, like, uh, balanced it, it's really good. I enjoy it very much. Mine isn't even max. Once it's max, I'm sure that it's even better. Um, so we're loving this. I'm loving this deck right now. If you guys like bridge spam, I imagine that you love this. It's a blast to play. Uh, we still don't know that he has a Morty yet, I don't believe. So we just go ahead and cycle this back here uh, because I hadn't seen a giant, a golem, I hadn't seen a pump or anything. So there was no, there were no signs to me um, that, no, I had seen the mortar. What am I talking about? So there were no signs to me that he had a golem or anything heavy like that. So we're just going to go ahead and drop this off right here and uh, do a little bit of work in here with this. And I believe that we, yeah, so we go royal ghost here <coughs> and then... Uh, Dark Gob right behind it, which isn't the best play because obviously, but right there it ended up being the best play because he dropped off bats to defend, and so that brought the Royal Ghost out of invisibility, so the um, Dark Goblin wasn't targeted. If he hadn't dropped off those bats, my Dark Goblin would have been targeted, would have been taken out, and less damage would have been done, surprisingly enough. Um, but we can go ahead and do all this right here, take this out pretty easily. Um, I'm gonna go ahead, I, I just, <laughs> I love, I love the whole mortar, like the, the, how scary it is playing a mortar for people. It's like, okay, mortar, knight, archers. And then it's like, oh man, it didn't work. <laughs> it cracks me up. But we get that in there pretty easily. He's still trying to defend over here. I'm not too sure why. Um, and then we drop off Lumberjack and Gang over here on the left. And this one ends up being a three crown because my man knows that it's game over. He can't handle it. He can't handle it, y'all. Mortar, check. Expo, check. Now we just got to beat an RG with it. I bet I actually think that we did already beat an RG with it. Um, let me go find that one. We don't have to watch it, but just to show you guys. Yeah, right there. We beat an RG with it. Let's go. That doesn't even really look like that good of an RG deck. Did we have we have I beaten two RGs with it? I beat a lot of Golem beatdown decks with it. Um, like this one right here at the bottom. Uh, yeah. And then uh, a bowler uh, one, this one right here that had lightning, which is nuts because lightning does really, really good against the um, against the baby dragon or against my inferno dragon, obviously. So let's hop into one here. Uh, since we are playing a live one, we'll probably end up losing. No, don't talk that kind of nonsense over yourself, Molt. Let's see what we can do. I've really been enjoying this deck. It's like every once in a while you'll find decks that you just absolutely love that like really really help you out or ju just make you excited to play the game again right now that's this that's this deck for me um so we kind of know what my man's got here and i can go ahead and and bar barrel this away and barb should get there and do a little bit of damage nope okay perfect we'll go ahead and get royal ghost in here okay this is gonna be a lot of fun for us y'all Hopefully, the, nope, Royal Ghost didn't go in time, and now he's going to be able to defend that because my Inferno Dragon took way too freaking long. And I'm going to go ahead and drop this off as well. Just see what we can do here. Um, we're probably going to end up losing the Dark Goblin. Ah, another Mortar deck, ladies and gentlemen. Another freaking Mortar deck. I'm actually going to go right here with this. Um, and go here with this as well because he's going to drop off his... Come on! Man, you gotta go down when I tell you to. You gotta go down when I tell you to. Whenever that happens, it's so frustrating because it's like, uh, okay. What the freak are you doing? He should take that out fairly. Nope, okay. All right, so this guy's deck's pretty frustrating. Um, I don't know what it is with people and using, uh, mortars and stuff right now, but I think we'll be okay. Go ahead and drop this off. And he's going to go Mortar. Yep. So I'm totally fine with that. We'll go ahead and wait a second and poison this. <clears throat> and 
And honestly, our Dark Goblin should be able to take him out pretty easily. We'll go ahead and go right here with this. And now I'm going to go ahead and do this and this. I dropped him off in a bad spot there. Sending all of this in. Why did I not poison? I should have poisoned that. I was not thinking. That's going to be a good poison, though. Taking all of that out. And I'm going to send my Dark Goblin in again just because we have that Rage spell. And yes, he's going to make some contact there with it. That's what I'm talking about. <clears throat> all right, we're doing okay here. Go ahead and do this, this, once again coming in with a poison spell, and Lumberjack should be targeted there, Lumberjack is not targeted there, we're going to be in a little bit of trouble here ladies and gentlemen, no we're not, what am I talking about, we good, we're good, not really though, honestly. We gotta try something here. Mortar's on that tower. And honestly, oh, he might be in trouble here. Come on, Royal Ghost, let's go, baby. Wait, he actually didn't finish that? Please tell me that's a joke. Please tell me that's a joke. Please tell me that's a joke. Oh! 55 if he had swung one more time if my royal ghost had swung one more time One more time we would have won that one gosh. That was close That's all right, man That's all right. What are you gonna do that deck that guy was using is super strong um, I know I know that I've seen it before a couple times so the fact that the fact that he got lucky and that was why he won I'm okay with that completely. I'm completely okay with that. Let's see if we can bait out a log here. Nope. All right. So we'll go ahead and just go Inferno Dragon here. Um, and I'm going to do a big boy push here with this. Yep. And then if we can get our poison spell. Okay. That's going to be bad news bears for us. Actually, we should be able to take all of this out. Inferno Dragon, come on. You've got a Rage Spell. Let's see what you can do with that Rage Spell on, buddy. Okay, not much. He couldn't do much with the Rage Spell. Come on. I dropped you off four seconds ago. Let's go. All right. Um, oof. This deck's going to be tough. This deck's going to be tough because our only real counter for uh, the Hog Rider is a Lumberjack, which obviously isn't going to be the best. So we're going to have to try and make something work here. I thought that poison spell was going to be a little more clutch, but it wasn't. Even though the Inferno Dragon um, even though the Inferno Dragon was raged up, it didn't help at all. Okay, there we go with that. So I'm actually going to go ahead and do this. And make that be the target. And we'll go ahead and come right over here. And I'm going to go ahead and do this. He's going to go P.E.K.K.A. And obviously it's going to target that. But we should be able to take it down quick enough that we can do a lot of damage here. Um, if some of these goblins can get over here and do some work for us. All right, so that'll go right there. And now we can go Dark Goblin, and it should... Okay, nope, close enough. And we'll go right here with this. And I'm actually going to go ahead and go straight for it this time without the, uh, without the Inferno Dragon. Hit it! You're joking! Come on! That was there! I got to try and uh, get this guy over here. Come on. There we go. Now we'll go ahead and send this in because I don't think his P.E.K.K.A. will be in cycle. It is in cycle, sadly enough. But I think... Oh, no. If I had done that to the left. Here comes this Hog Rider. Nope. Okay. 
Wait, was this the guy with the hog rider or no? Come on. Bro, you gotta be kidding me, man. Nothing getting done there for me. We just lost. Wait, what the heck killed my lumberjack? What, a, a dragon? A baby dragon killed my lumberjack? Wow, okay, well, at any rate, I told you guys, once I start recording the games, like, you're gonna lose. Okay, hope you guys enjoyed at least the beginning of that, uh, going up against Expo and Mortar. Try the deck out, see how it works for you. We should have won that first one against that Mortar with 55 health. We just needed the Royal Ghost to swing one more time. That one was close as well. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you leave a like down below, and I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace out.